Good evening, everybody. Yeah, so tonight we'll finish this Matthew 10, um, Discipleship, and we're reading from Matthew 39 up to 42, which is the end of Matthew 10. Whoever finds his life will lose it, and whoever loses his life, on my account, will find it. So what Jesus is actually saying, if you lose your lower life, which is the life of not being with Christ, and the ordinary life, the life live in this world. If you seek that life, you will lose your higher life. And the higher life is by Jesus in the kingdom to come. It's verse 40. He who receives and welcomes and accepts you, receives and welcomes and accepts me. And he who receives and welcomes and accepts me, receives and welcomes and accepts him who sent me. Let's quickly look at this verse because Jesus says sometimes we have accompanied angels and we do not know that we have accompanied angels we keep on reading about what jesus says in matthew 25 verse 35 he says for i was hungry and you gave me food i was thirsty and you gave me something to drink i was a stranger and you brought me together with yourselves and welcomes and entertained and lodged me I was naked, verse 36, I was naked and you clothed me. I was six and you visited me with help and ministering care. I was in prison and you came to see me. Then the just and upright will answer him, Lord, when did we see you hungry and gave you food or thirsty and gave you something to drink? And when did you see you as a stranger and welcomed and entertained you or naked and clothed you? And when did we see you sick or in prison and came to visit you? And the king will reply to them, Truly I tell you, in so far as you did for one of the least in the estimation of men, of those of my brethren, so you did it to me. So you see Matthew 40, uh, uh, Matthew 10 verse 40 say, He who receives and welcomes accepts and receives and welcomes you also welcomes and receives me and he gave example as we just read right verse 31 says he who receives and welcomes and accepts a prophet because he is a prophet shall receive a prophet's reward and he who receives and welcomes and accepts a righteous man because he is righteous man shall receive a righteous man reward and whoever gives one of these little ones in rank or influence even a cup of cold water, because he is my disciple, surely I declare to you, he shall not lose his reward. So Jesus says, whoever looks at the least of him, one of his disciples, and even gives him just a cup of water, will get a reward. Um, now, I've seen that many a times in my walk with Jesus, where people have done something to me, and then you know later they just testify, God has blessed them. But at the end of the day, it's not about me. It's about being uh, obedient to the word of God. So that basically concludes Matthew 10, uh, walking with Jesus, being a disciple. And uh, this concludes this lesson. So what we'll do, uh, I think in future, is we'll go back to number one, repent. And then, of course, we'll look at baptize. We've now looked at number three, following Jesus. And, of course, number four, I've already covered, which is the Sabbath. So next time we'll be looking at, uh, the next lesson we'll be looking at um, repenting. What does it mean to repent? How do you repent? What is repentance? Have a great evening. Cheers.